All right, Dan, as a Korean, do you think this Shake Shack gochujang glazed chicken sandwich from Shake Shack can be the best Korean fried chicken sandwich in the world? I think so. Let's sign out. All right, everybody, I'm about to put in my order for four Korean chicken sandwiches from Shake Shack. Boom, get excited. You're about to get shacking. All right, you guys, we are looking for the BBQ chicken sandwiches right now. The only thing they have out are their honey garlic wings, and uh, that's it. I have not wanted to buy the hot brew as much unless BTS's face was on it, so I might have to pop it. All right, this Korean fried chicken sandwich battle is about to go down. We're outside of Pelicana. We are here with our resident Korean, Dan Chang. 안녕하세요. 저 이름은 Dan입니다. Funk Bros랑 같이 일해요. Yo, you just yeah. proved any for everybody wrong. Dan, according to 23andMe, is 99.9% .9 Korean. Wow. So that makes you like one of the most Korean the most people Korean. I've ever met. Yeah. We're gonna be comparing the sandwiches. We got a sandwich from Pelicana. We got the sandwich from Shake Shack. We got some BBQ chicken, gochujang spicy fried chicken. So man, I think we just gotta determine how does the Shake Shack hold up? Do we have any early predictions? Dan. We have two chains from Korea. Obviously one was the supermarket version, BBQ chicken. You got Pelicana and of course you got Shake Shack. I think Pelicana is gonna be one of the better ones because I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the chicken to be super wet and uh, like the traditional Korean, Korean fried chicken. Okay, so. so the Shake Shack Korean fried chicken sandwich was actually a limited drop in Korea. It got really popular at the Shake Shack branches and then they just brought it over and it's here through what, April? I believe that the fried chicken sandwich wars were getting so heated in 2020 and into 2021, Shake Shack just had to make a big move. KFC sandwich wars, let's go. Yo, Dan, what does this say? This says, Kelly Kana chicken. <laughs> and if you guys are curious to know if Shake Shack has the best Korean fried chicken sandwich in the game right now, make sure you hit that like button because that's really going to help us out. Let's go. Aren't you guys, the Korean fried chicken KFC battle is going down. Ooh. All right, first up, of course, we got to do the newly arrived Shake Shack KFC uh, Korean fried chicken sandwich. It's got slaw. It's got the kimchi mayo. It's the chicken is glazed in the gochujang sauce. Is this the exact same recipe for the one that debuted in Seoul, like maybe like four or five months ago? I'm, that's I, that's I what so. I would be curious. I would be curious. I, I would think so. They like reinvented everything Just and like put mad ketchup in the gochujang. Oh, you mean if they tweaked it for the American market? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like it is. I Visually, mean, you guys break it down. What are we looking at? Just take it out of the, to the wrap. Guys, you have your. We got the clamshell. Is yeah. that the clamshell bun? Clamshell bun, of course, classic <laughs> potato bun right here, super soft. You have your nice piece of chicken that, you know, is probably just tossing it. This is also like the, uh, probably the same piece of chicken as the Shake Shack, Chicken Shack. And then you have your coleslaw. You have a little bit of the kimchi mayo, of course. Classic condiment. Man, I mean, it has everything you need. Oh my God, you can, you can smell every, every spice in there. And David here, of course, we had to try one protein style lettuce wrap. Shake, Shake Shack, Shack Korean fried, fried chicken. chicken. Okay. Ooh. Oh. The gochujang is like pretty light. It's not too spicy. All right, man, it was tough because my chicken piece was a little bit dry. This is like a chicken shack with gochujang glaze on it. The spices were maybe even stronger than I thought. One layer or two layers deeper than I thought in terms of like how it's sort of just resonating in my mouth. I do feel like they catered this a bit mm. to the American palate. I, I do. So, so you, you think that this is probably different, like slightly I feel different like, recipe? I feel like this could definitely be like super stronger when you get it. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Ooh. Ooh. Would I get this every day? I give it like a 3.5 out of five. Okay, so yeah, as a three. Korean, you're not like, yo, if I go to Shake Shack, I have to I get the sandwich. Get the Korean. No, yeah, you don't. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get the burger. Wait, wait, is there, is there any <laughs> element that would feel like kind of stereotypical? Like if you walked up there and you're like, can I get, get the, the Korean barbecue? <laughs> All right, man, my rating, I'll say Shake Shack brought a nice little kick. But overall, I give it a three out of five. Oh. I wasn't super impressed, me personally. You know, it was good and solid, but it didn't blow me away. Yeah, I agree. And, all right, moving along, the special limited Korean menu at Shake Shack. We've got the Korean uh, Shake Shack bites. Yeah, the chicken bites right here. 
They're smaller pieces. They're fried in a similar vein, but uh, there is no gochujang glaze. You're just gonna dip this in the kimchi mayo right here. Kimchi, kimchi mayo, mayo bites. bites. I actually like those chicken bites better than the chicken in the chicken sandwich. I want to see this on like future Korean dishes with like some banchan on the side. You know, just dip this while you're eating food. In Korea. Dude, you know what I think would have been fire? is if the um, chicken patty from the Soul Burger was more fried and then had this sauce on, along with the kimchi uh, coleslaw. Mmm. I think if these had the gochujang glaze, I would get this over the sandwich. All right, you guys, our second competitor is Pelicana Chicken. This is the original Korean fried chicken brand from Korea, started in 1982. To have the Pelicana, of course, then we gotta have some Korean drinks. Dan, this is uh, Lunar. This is Yuzu hard seltzer. This is blowing up right now. All right, David, this is uh, Makoli. I would say the Makoli, though, for the people who have it, it might be even their more favorite drink than soju. And I actually have a Chinese beer, which is a, or a jasmine tea boba. We are here looking at the spread at the Pelicana round. Um, Dan, you're saying that they're using chicken thigh. Yeah, this is chicken thigh opposed to the chicken breast used at Shake Shack. And I see maybe more of a gochujang or kimchi dust as opposed to a hardcore gochujang yeah. sauce. Yeah, so this one is, uh, <clears throat> this one's glazed in the gochujang sauce, not gochujang sauce, but uh, their house made sauce. And then these are more battered into a bowl and then kind of tossed in. So it's a so lot more dry, like okay. it's, it lets the meat come out. So as you can see, the glaze is kind of poured on. It wasn't completely tossed in, but you can see it dripping onto the bun right here. Pelicana with spicy sauce. Going head up with Shake Shack, let's go. Wow, one started the fried chicken craze in Korea and one's, uh, you know, the newcomer. Oh. No. That is good, my goodness. I want to say there for sure is some gochujang in there, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. The chicken piece is way bigger and it's thigh meat, so it's juicier. And it kind of has that irregular shape because it is a chicken thigh. Overall, the chicken piece was way better. Yeah. For me, I'm going to give that a 4.5. I would, also, I would have to agree, 4.5 out of 5. Bro, you know, I, I said the, the chicken sandwich 3.5 out of 5. I, this is a definitely 4.5 out of 5. Monster, Monster with cheese. cheese. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see that? Look at that. The chicken thigh? This thing is gigantic. Oh. This is taller than a Air Force One midsole. Let's go. That's even better. Whoa. Straight Hold up. Up. I'm gonna just say it early. Hold up. The monster is even better than the one with spicy sauce. That's interesting. Yo. Oh my god. Man, that was so I just had to bust out the the, the Uji Matcha Yo, beer David to stop is that. lit right now, but all <laughs> the chicken sandwiches. <laughs> this is the original Pelicana chicken sandwich. Pelicana, Pelicana the, the original. original. Is the sandwiches kind of look the same visually? But, but I would say, yeah, they all, they, they taste more different than you think. Pelicana Southern style. You want to do it. You want to put kimchi on the chicken sandwich. Oh. Kimchi chicken sandwich. <laughs> A little bit more of those Southern spices, cayenne pepper. The kimchi almost makes it more comparable yeah. to the Shake Shack because the Shake Shack one has a kimchi slaw in it. Right. And you really need that fresh fermented sort of energy in here. Man, actually, it was actually, a monster. Actually. The monster was the best, especially if you the put kimchi on the monster. Oh. If you put kimchi on the monster, yeah. that would have been You're easily a 5.5 out of five. My favorite Pelicana sandwich is the spicy sauce one. I don't know if it was just the kimchi, but that Southern style was definitely my favorite. All right, we are gonna compare Pelicana's chicken to BBQ chicken. Now this is a battle because these are two chains from Korea. One's more of an OG, you know, really like the KFC of it all. And then BBQ chicken might be like, a, maybe like a Popeyes. Still pretty popular, still international, but just not as big. Pelicana, Pelicana chicken. chicken. So these are thigh bites. There's no bones. <clears throat> Reminds me more almost of like a um, Taiwanese popcorn chicken. That's like the immediately. I've never had actually chicken thigh bites before. Next up, we got the BBQ chicken spicy boneless. Damn, what's your opinion on BBQ chicken? Every time I see this in H Farm, I'm always tempted to get a box. I feel like these are chicken tender pieces, which is of the chicken tenderloin and maybe not the thigh. BBQ, BBQ chicken. chicken. Tenderloins are the tenderest white meat of a chicken, but you're right, it might be mixed. This flavor is super good at BBQ chicken. This and, sauce is fire. And, but we gotta dock them points because they didn't have sandwiches available today. But had this flavor been on a sandwich, you might be dealing with an all-star too. Yeah. So ah. this is like the strongest tasting one I've had so far. It's very sweet and a lot more wet. Between the two, yeah. this is pretty good. The BBQ chicken was good, man. Between these two, because like we said, 
BB Goo Chicken automatically disqualified for not having sandwiches today. <laughs> they, they might have to. Yeah. Yeah. On the, chicken on the boneless side. chicken bites, they, they take it. All right, you guys, that does it for our KFC Korean fried chicken battle. Of course, we had Shake Shack bringing over the recipe from Seoul, Korea. Uh -huh. We've got Pelicata, obviously being the OG originally from Seoul, Korea. Right. And then, of course, you got BBQ Chicken, which is a little bit more of a newcomer with the olive oil. A lot of people are familiar with that because I think the BBQ Chicken expanded in America before Pelicana did. All right, you guys, as you guys sip on the Soju Malona drinks here, what is your guys' you know, final verdicts? We gotta get out of Pelicana to make sure that we're being unbiased. Okay, Ooh. first, can I say what I appreciate about the Shake Shack sandwich? Yeah. Okay, I appreciate that it was gochujang glaze. It did not taste exactly like other Korean fried chicken sauces that I've had. It was a little bit more traditional, a little bit spicier. I think uh, for such like a large chain like Shake Shack to kind of endorse Korean flavors and bring that to the American palate is very cool. Right, and it's not just a New York or LA thing. It's like all the Shake Shacks yeah. around the country. This is nationwide through April. This yeah. is not a Shake Shack brand new. I'm just letting you know the information in case you guys want to try it. The Shake Shack one was the most gastronomic. The Pelicana, especially the Monster, was just the most tasty. But then BBQ chicken, out of all of them, it might have been the easiest to eat. Sandwich per sandwich, the Shake Shack one is not the most delicious one, but you should try it because it's different. The Pelicana chicken sandwiches, two or three out of four of them were delicious. They were good. The Southern style here at Pelicana, that was that was crazy. And then putting kimchi on there, they said they're bringing gochujang and kimchi to some of their new burgers. So they should. They really should. Yeah. All right, so Dan, you're going with the Southern style as your favorite sandwich out of the, all the ones we had today. I'm going with the monster with cheese. Yeah. Especially Whoa. if I had a little kimchi or a little kimchi yeah. aioli or mayo on that one. Yo, all right, so the Shake Shack chicken sandwich wasn't my favorite today, but can I say something? I think with the elements that it brought, it is going to influence or at least push other chicken sandwiches to up their game. Because they did the kimchi slaw. Thank you everybody for watching that battle of the KFC sandwiches, Korean fried chicken that is. And I know that there was other brands that we couldn't include. Um, a lot of them are not all in New York or not you know, super close to each other, but shout out, I'm so glad I got to try Pelicana the OG brand. I'm so glad we got to try the new drop oh. from Shake Shack. And check out Mark Lee and Spot Desserts, man. Mark Shout Lee out to Mark. Yep. Shout out to Dan for being with us. In the comments down below, let us know what your favorite Korean fried chicken spot is. And if you want to try the Shake Shack chicken sandwich, also let us know if there's anything else in New York that we should check out. All right, you guys, let us know what you thought in the comments section below. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.